The African continent is becoming a global style icon, fusing the influences of international trend makers with its colourful vibrancy that characterises its people and cultures. This year, Decorex SA brings home the impact of this colourful continent on the 2019 lifestyle trends at its first installation at the Durban Exhibition Centre. It's always so excited to get to Decorex and see all the concepts come to life within the feature areas. And one of mine that I'm so excited about is the wine and bubbly bar with the gorgeous natural woods that blend with the pops of colour, especially my favourite, the Gen Z bright yellow. Our theme this year is Designing for Africa Feels Like Home and I'm really excited to see the exhibitors take this theme to heart. There are so many beautiful trends that are showcased in such an African way. This year we are really proud to have partnered with a South African paint manufacturer, Olympic Paints. We've worked so closely with them, we've even designed a colour palette specifically for Decorex and it's absolutely beautiful to see it be brought to light at the exhibition. So Jal, why is it so important for you to be involved in an exhibition like Decorex and what do you love most about it? We understand Decorex to be a very great brand when it comes to design and deco. And that's why we love Decorex. You are the leaders in brand when it comes to international deco trends. So we love associating our brand with a brand like Decorex as it increases the value of our brand. The people that come to Decorex also adds value to us. Uh, we have seen uh, architects, interior designers, even other manufacturers. Color brings uh, life, uh, color brings joy, color brings happiness. So together with Decorex, we've developed the Platinum Plus Lux range, which we are exhibiting to the public. Uh, we are supplying some of the exhibitors with our paint also. They are also designers and decorators, so they can try the paint. Uh, it's all about getting to know a good brand, using it once, and building confidence in it. The designer spotlight is on Jennifer Jones Interiors, whose eclectic approach to design is reflected in this exquisite setting. Hi Jen. Hello Anita. What is your style and how have you drawn from our theme, Designing for Africa Feels Like Home? I originally looked at even designing a full apartment in this 36 square meters, but I opted to go with an African game lodge, your luxury lodge accommodation. So that was in keeping with the African theme. There's a lot of wood used on the stand and I wanted to use the different types. So we've used the plywood, we've used oak, we've used juco, we've used melamine. So then when it came to accessorising, I had to be very careful not to have too much texture going on. So I have incorporated your metal elements with the copper and that comes through in the bath, the lighting, the bar stools and then of course softening the whole thing with the use of the plants, the wall gardening and even some faux plants, but it, it works, so you've got all the different elements. Any design tips for our visitors? And if you really want to make good use of your space, your home, bring in a professional, even if you only use them for a consultation to give you the right guidelines. Plan what you want to do and set about achieving that. The in-studio Trend Theatre is a showcase of fashion, design and colour, and how it's all integrated within our wonderful world of design. At the forefront of being African, we welcome ABSA and the Africanacity theme to the exhibition. Why has ABSA decided to get involved with Decorex this year? Decorex is one of the well-respected, long-standing shows that have stood the test of time. And as ABSA, it's a privilege for us to be associated with Decorex. What are the correlations between your Africanacity and our theme, Designing for Africa Feels Like Home? Africa is home. And as APSA, we want to be part of the homeowner's journey, making a significant contribution in the homeowner industry, and we want to bring possibilities to life. The design and layout of a kitchen impacts the functionality and as well as how you move around the space. Today I have Klein with us to tell us a bit more about the kitchen design project. What kitchen trends can visitors expect to see? So you'll see a lot of the celebration of the more natural wood finishes. So you'll see a lot of beamed ochre kitchens, um, shed jewel at the winning stand at Rams finishes. So the natural grain veneers are, are quite a big thing. And while everyone seems to think that people are moving more towards matte finishes and that's a lot more contemporary, we actually find that a lot more of our clients are specifying really high and beautiful work with with gloss finishes and now it's really about trying to find the most perfect gloss you know so the winning kitchen for this year's kitchen design project was ram finishes 
But what we really loved about um, Ram Finish's work is their very clever use and very natural and harmonious use of materials. They used a combination of natural grain African veneers like Shedua alongside more synthetic looking but really exciting finishes like Rihal's Revisio range. We thought that they did a fantastic job of, of feature lighting throughout their kitchen as well. It is very functionally and sensibly laid out as well. It is said that design helps us understand our world and trends place us in time. Anita, tell us the significance of our theme, Designing for Africa Feels Like Home. I mean, we love Africa and just shining the spotlight on African design this year. You'll see beautiful colour palettes, bright colour palettes, you'll see your natural textures coming through. So some of the trends that we'll see coming through is one of them being the surface tactility trend. We're interacting with your cold screens on our cell phones, with technology, and we really are seeing a lot of our wallpapers and finishes in our home having that gorgeous texture because our bodies are craving that. When it comes to designing your house, you need to look at your adding that personal touch. What items do you love? Here we sit in the magnificent trend house. What look and style were you going for? I wanted to reflect living in smaller apartments, more open plan living, and using textures to create extreme comfort with the vivid scatter cushions and throws. The Decorex International feature showcases global trends on an African platform. From New York to London to Paris to Durban, today we're with Lee Boy from Rainy Skies who's going to take us through her inspiration. Tell us Lee a bit about the patterns, textures and colours you've used within the space. The theme that I have used is an international designation which is Paris. The fabric I've used is from Casamance. Although this is from Paris, we've still got our botanicals and we've still got our vibrant colours, which is our rainbow nation. I've used a variety of textures. Over here, you've got your plain velvets. The wallpaper that I've used, as you can see, the texture is where you are creating your entrance. Looking at the South African platform, how do we fit into the global arena? I think South Africa has a very high standard of interior design because if I look at all the international trends and uh, compare them to what we have, we have a lot to offer. As part of a diversely African nation, Mzanzi cities all express their Africanness in unique and beautiful ways. See what Cape Town has to showcase at the next Decorex installation from the 1st to the 5th of May at the Cape Town International Convention Centre.